to thank the TPD community and our friends and family for all of their support throughout everything. Sergeant Craig Johnson's widow thanking police and the community as an emotional and difficult trial comes to an end. After hearing from dozens of witnesses and seeing life-changing video, a jury sentence where to death for the murder of Tulsa Police Sergeant Craig Johnson. News Tally's Danielle Abar has covered this trial from the start of jury selection. Danielle, what was that moment like? Well, Mark, this is the courtroom where that sentence was read, and let me tell you, it was just silent when it was read. Where's dad left immediately after, and some of the jurors, they looked like they were crying. This was a tough decision that they had to make, but one that was based on Ware's choices. Expressionless, David Ware left the courtroom moments after learning his fate. It took the jury less than three hours to sentence Ware to death for murdering Tulsa Police Sergeant Craig Johnson. I know they had to see a lot of hard things that I imagine will be with them for a long time. I pray they are able to heal from the experience. As for Christy Johnson and her two sons, they're still healing. My request at this time is that the silent majority that I have seen and heard from during all of this start speaking up and change the anti-police culture being created. For Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin, this was about accountability. Doesn't matter, uh, you know, this, this was death, but if it had been life, it had, if it had been life with parole, we would have accepted that. I would have accepted that. This sentence won't bring Sergeant Johnson back. His mom and his dad didn't deserve to go through this. His wife and his children didn't deserve to go th through this. And I'm confident that the success that we had today and with this verdict, they would trade that for just one second more time that they could have with Craig. It won't erase the suffering Officer Arash Zarkashan went through after being critically injured by Ware. He was the hero in this case. Um, he is uh, a tremendous example of the men and women who uh, the Tulsa Police Department and all our law, law enforcement communities strive to hire and put out on our streets. Ware's attorney left before saying anything. Ware himself didn't say much before learning his fate. Mr. Ware, do you have any comment on how things are going so far? No, thank you. David Ware will likely be the 43rd person on Oklahoma's death row. Where has not been formally sentenced, that is scheduled to happen on May 13th. We're live from the Tulsa County Courthouse, Daniela Ibarra, News Channel 8. Last week, the jury found David Ware guilty of murdering Sergeant Craig Johnson. He was also convicted of shooting with intent to kill for shooting Officer Arash Sharkashan. Jury recommended a sentence of life in prison. They also recommended 55 years in prison and fines for Ware's other drug and gun convictions. David Ware's getaway driver is serving a 24-year prison sentence. Last year, Matthew Hall was convicted of two counts of accessory to a felon. Today's sentence was for the murder of Sergeant Craig Johnson. He was 45 years old when he was killed, leaving behind his wife and two sons. As a police officer, he was instrumental in changing the city's law on copper thefts, and he'd been awarded the department's Purple Heart before passing. Craig Johnson's name was added to the National Law Enforcement Memorial last year. You can find more on the verdict and reaction at K2L.com. From the 